Yeah, that's pretty nice. Hi, I'm Don Bodan from SampleLibraryReview.com. I'm very excited. Today we're going to be checking out Randy's Prepared Piano by CineSamples. Go way back into my childhood when I was practicing. and I put a blanket over the strings and I heard this kind of muted, you know. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Now this is the second collaboration in CineSamples artist series with LA studio pianist, orchestrator, and arranger, Randy Kerber. The first was Randy Celeste, and now the developer has teamed up with Randy's unique take on a prepared piano. If you're not familiar, Mr. Kerber is one of the most well-known musicians in Los Angeles. You've heard him perform on dozens of scores from Harry Potter to Forrest Gump, La La Land to Star Wars The Force Awakens. I don't know if I invented it. I like to think that I did. But um, I go down from the right, I go under the middle string, I push down the left string, and I, and I slide it in. From his credits list, you can tell Randy's regularly contributing to scores for composers such as Alan Silvestri, Jerry Goldsmith, John Williams, and with this new Cine Samples library, we all now get a chance to collaborate with Mr. Kerber. Library downloads as 13.37 gigabytes. It is prepared piano samples, including recordings of mallets, finger mutes, dimes, putties, harmonics, chains, metal bars, ping pong balls, scrapes, and dual piano samples recorded at MGM Scoring Stage and Hollywood Scoring Stage Studio in Los Angeles. The engine has controls for pedal volume, hammer volume, and dynamic range. Library also comes with a CineSign light, that's a sine wave and pink noise, contact instrument, as well as several contact multis. Randy's prepared piano is a contact player instrument compatible with NKS controls, and it is compatible with the free and full version of Contact 5.6.8 or higher. Normally sells for $129 US dollars. At the time of putting this together, it was on a special intro price of $99 US dollars. I'll of course include a link below to take you straight over to Asina Samples if you'd like to pick up the library. Also include a link over to Sample Library Reviews, Randy's prepared piano page where we'll have all of the videos, any other review videos or demo videos or any other links that I mention along the way. All right, I've got the uh, library loaded in my libraries tab. You can see here it's a contact player instrument. Comes with uh, instrument selections with um, NKIs as well as some multis. That includes layered uh, performances and sine waves. So let's just go ahead and dig in. You can see I've got the rubber mallets pulled up. Let's just uh, have a little listen to this. Yeah, it's got a pretty interesting sound there. It's really... Very much you can hear the piano sound for sure, um, but it's got a whole new different kind of character. That's a real nice quality there. That's just the mallets. Looks like we got some different uh, presets um, for mixes. Here's another full mix. Let's listen to the same kind of thing with that. And then there's some close mics. Just listen to a couple of these just to start to get a feel for the instrument.
Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's got a nice change in timbre. I really am loving the dynamic range. And we've even got some controls for dynamic range as well as hammer volume. So I'm going to think I'm going to jump back to this. Another full mix here. I'm going to crank up the hammer volume. Just I want to hear this. Yeah, and controls for the pedal volume there too. All right, let's jump into some of the other presets here. We've got the finger mutes. That's got a real nice resonance to it. Let's see what happens when we use one of these uh, room or space mixes. Let's try that space. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, let's check out dimes. Yeah, that's really cool. That's like a bell-like kind of sound. preset. Listen to the harmonics. Yeah, with this moody preset, get a little bit more verb. It's using this uh, dark cinematic IR. It's a small range, but it is a pretty unique sound. Here's with chains. Yeah, really neat little sizzle on that metal.
yeah, that one's going to be fun to play with. Texture. So that, here's the metal bar high. Yeah, I think with this one, I'm, I might utilize this low range. You get a real weird hollow sound to this. this. That's pretty cool, the way it resonates. Here's some of that museum putty. Little putty strums. Yeah, these would probably be good with a big room. Ping pong balls. Effect spoon. Ah, this is cool. This will be neat for percussion, I think. Sound effects hits. I could see how this is going to be useful for all kinds of stuff. I could make some little clicky TikTok things. And we got some sings. Now these are kind of cool. This is dual octaves. And this is, I think, two players at the same time. Or maybe three. I don't know what this dual one shot says. Okay, so maybe a couple players playing the same kind of effect. And textures. And then this was interesting. In the official video, they had mentioned that this was a special piano, but they didn't mention what it was. <laughs> Let's take a listen to the mutes of MGM piano. This one says nails.
And then here's that uh, set of sign light. With sine wave and pink noise. Let's go ahead and check out the rubber mallet multi. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. I'm gonna mute that that sign instrument. Yeah, it just gives it a tiny bit of ghost texture. Here's the finger mute version. And same thing here with this one. I don't quite hear the Cine sign. I'm going to mute it. And when I turn it back on, it almost acts as like a, a little bit of depth, a little room. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Let's check out the chains. Yeah, you almost don't perceive that sign until you mute it and then listen to it without it and then back on it. All right, let's check out one more here.
right. Very cool. That's going to wrap it up for first look here. Checking out Randy's prepared piano. I think my initial feelings are that this sample set is really well recorded. The depth and detail and character, it's just pristine. I think playing around more with the availability of the instrument uh, engine where we'd be able to manipulate the mixing throughout here as well as maybe add some EQ, although I tend to usually do that on the track rather than inside an instrument, uh, as well as the changes for pedal volume, hammer volume, dynamic range, really you'll add another layer of depth to how to present this instrument kind of in your own way. Overall, I'm thrilled with what they put together here. The sample set's just meticulously sampled, really responds nicely. I'm really pleased with it. Really great sound. Love to hear your thoughts about Randy's prepared piano. Please comment description below. Tell me if this is something that you're interested in. I think these are extremely usable prepared piano samples. It seems like so many prepared piano libraries that I've played with, they're really fun, really crazy sounds, but this is very performable and playable, I guess. That's my thought. Love to hear your thoughts. Comment below. Like, share, and subscribe. Always love your support. Be sure to head over to samplelibraryreview.com for the latest news, reviews, and our weekly deals page.